All right, Raymond, let's go over the patrol we're about to go on. Now, I went ahead and told you a little bit about it earlier so that you start getting your gear ready, but we're going to go over it in detail so that we know what we're doing before we leave the perimeter. All right, the situation is that there's been several people, both the security team and just out doing chores, have noticed some activity up there at that bridge. We don't know what's going on. The old man wants to know. All right. So the mission is that you and I are going to head up there. We're going to see what's going on unobserved and then report back. We've got two days to do that. Now, the alternate mission or the, the secondary mission, subordinate mission, is to go check on uh, Mr. Pat over here at his place. We haven't seen anything of them, I don't know, a week or so. And we just want to see what's going on with them. Now, he wants us to go to the bridge first. Because just in case something's gone on with Mr. Pat. And um, he's either involved with whatever's going on up there. Or he's been affected by it. We don't want to, um, we don't want to give anybody heads up of what we're doing. So we're going to hit the bridge first. Then we're going to swing back by Pat's if, if it works out. Either way, we just got two days to do this. We're traveling light. But we're traveling slow. We don't want to be seen. We don't want to interact with anybody except maybe there at Pat's house. All right. So that's kind of the execution of it. Slow and stealthy. Our job is not to be seen. And we're just to see what's going on and then come back. Now here's how I want to do it. <clears throat> the old man wants us to leave out before dawn and head up that way. As I said, we got two days to do it. Now here's what I want you to do. I've already talked with the lady over there at the kitchen and there's going to be coffee going all night. We're going to get up, I don't know, about three. I want you to get over there and get you some coffee. That'll wake you up and also I want us to leave here with empty bowels. I want us to do no shitting out there on the field. I want us to take care of everything here before we leave. So get up and get you a belly full of coffee eat you something and by the time we leave here we ought to be ready to go and cleaned out and not take anything extra with us if you know what I mean. We're going to go out the swamp gate. We're going to go out before dawn and we're going to get just a little beyond the perimeter, just out of sight and we're going to hunker down somewhere and just sit still until the sun gets up full. you know how the birds get to singing and everything once the sun gets up all full we're gonna move out parallel to the bayou now as you know it gets real swampy in here we're gonna try to stay just above the mud level and we're gonna work our way but we're gonna stay as far away from Pat's fields as we can we don't want to be seen by him even though he's friendly as far as we know he's still a friendly but we're gonna move out this way now, I sure hope that we're going to be able to see everything at the bridge from this side of Bridge Road. I don't want to cross Bridge Road. That's a serious danger area. You know that's a wide road. It's straight. You go crossing that thing, even at night, if there's a moon, people can see you from a long way. So I'm hoping that what we can do as we get down here close to the bridge, you know, that's marsh up in there, is we can find us a nice little place that we can observe for a while from a distance. Wait till it gets dark again and then tomorrow night we'll move up closer so that maybe we can hear some stuff. Alright? We'll see how things go there and if we feel like it's too hot we'll move back again. But if it's not, we're going to stay there. We're going to find us a good place to hold up. I got us some camouflage, and we're going to sit through the day. 
and then what we'll do is we'll turn around and either come back that afternoon or if we need to wait till dark we'll come back that evening and move back the same way heading over toward Pat's we'll recon around his back area just to see if things look okay and then we'll go in and see him and we'll do it the way we normally do you'll hold back in the tree line I'll walk in say my hellos and then if things okay I'll come back out but you'll never go in it'll just be me going into pads alright admin and logistics we're traveling fairly light we're just getting 22's as I've already told you and you should have already drawn five mags that's only 125 rounds but that ought to be more than enough because I don't plan on firing a single one I plan on doing all this sneaky Pete and getting back here without anybody knowing we were there except for maybe old Pat. Now I want to go over some commands and some signals, all right? Now you've been out there before with us and you know most of them. Just to refresh, if we see need for a hasty ambush, and God knows I don't want us to, I'll pump my arm and then move in that direction. Pump my arm, point in that direction. That's for a hasty ambush. The signal for a danger area will be a fist salute and then open in my hand. Fist salute, open in my hand. Got that? Enemy sided, I'll point, or you point, like a play gun. Enemy sided, point in that direction. Rally point. I'm going to set a couple rally points as we move up, okay? Just depending on what I feel good about. So what I'll do, if, if it's a rally point, so I'll touch my belt, then I'll point to the ground. Touch my belt, point to the ground. That'll mean it's a rally point, all right? We don't need a compass in a map because we know the area, but this map ain't going with us because, number one, if something does happen to us, we don't need this kind of intel getting out. Now, coming back in. We're going to come back in the main gate. We can only come in at daylight, okay? We don't want to be coming in at night. Security at night's a little more touchy. So what we do coming in, I've got a radio and I've got a whistle. Radio's the primary. It's already preset. We'll just turn it on, tell them we're coming in. They tell us come on, we come on. If something happens, the radio's not working or we can't raise them on the radio, we do the one whistle blast, they do the two whistle blasts. We come on in until they see us and recognize us. You've done it before. You know the, gr the drill on that. All right. Any questions? No? All right, let's look your gear over. <clears throat> I can see you've been working on your camouflage. That's good. <clears throat> now, I understand that you don't have the military gear that some of the guys have. So there's no problem with you just taking this backpack. That's all you got. We'll make that work. Okay, good. You got the tools I told you to get, right? Okay. So he got us a little digging tool in case we want to dig in to our hide. Ah, good. You got these from the greenhouse. These are great for cutting wait a minute vines so that we can move slowly. Great. I'm, gra I'm glad you grabbed those. All right. You got two magazines on the outside. That's good. Where's your other magazines? In here. All right, two magazines there. That's good. Nothing else in there? Good. All right, main pack, you got your mosquito net. Three canteens, that's good. Got your little bandana, that's fine, I don't mind that. It's food rations. You got the same food I got. What you got in here? Rest of your food. And a tourniquet okay that's all we need that's all we need I've got enough camouflage for both of us I got the camouflage um, paint and um, that should be good got your ammo you got your water you got your chow looks good all right let's go over here in the open area and just practice a couple of the hand and arm signals kind of talk it through have you tell it back to me and then we'll get some rest sound good Good. 